Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Crystal with Rosie's Closet. Um, I am a reseller on platforms like eBay and Poshmark and Curtsy and Mercari and OfferUp and blah 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 and on and on and on. Um, yeah, I'm also a mom and I love crafting and cooking and couponing and all the mom things. So please, if you enjoy my videos, uh, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell down there, down there somewhere below, and let me know that you're enjoying my videos. And uh, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video or when I go live. And let's get to it. Hello everybody, thank you so much for being here on my channel. Uh, today we're going to go over some eBay and Poshmark sales over the last three weeks, since I haven't done one in three weeks. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to switch over to my computer screen so you can check it out. And I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so can you see my screen right now? We're going to start off with uh, some of my Poshmark sales. Um, so this is um, over the last couple of weeks, I think three or four weeks, and I just picked out a few from Poshmark and from eBay that I thought you might be interested in. So uh, the first one up is this Candies Pineapple Print Tank Top. Very cute for office maybe or um, you know just every day with a pair of jeans. Uh, that ended up selling for $12, and of course they pay for shipping on Poshmark. Next up is this Lily Pulitzer Polo. Um, I thought this would go for a little bit more, but it ended up selling for $12. Very cute with these little fishies all over it. Next up is one of my favorite brands to sell, Torrid. Um, I love selling plus size items. Um, they seem to do really well on Poshmark and on eBay, but this particular brand, Torrid, sells very, very quickly. So I pick it up every time I find it, especially in the larger sizes, like 2 and 3X are perfect. Um, this one, however, was a 1X, and it sold for $15. This uh, was just right out of my own closet. This was a Star Wars long sleeve t-shirt, and it sold for 10 bucks. This is uh, a vintage USA Olympic windbreaker. Um, I probably could have gotten a lot more for this maybe on Etsy, but it did have a few stains on it, so I just ended up um, listing it here on Poshmark, and I took an offer because I had it for a while and it just wasn't selling, um, and I sold it for $14. So on to um, some of my eBay sales. This is a pair of Torrid Women's Slacks in a size 18. And those sold for 18 bucks plus shipping. I'm starting to get into um, some hard goods. So here is a Steelers Terrible Towel. That sold for $10 uh, plus shipping. I had a few of these and I have sold I think I had three of them. I've sold two out of the three so far. Uh, this is a book I actually found at the bins. So I probably paid, I don't know, 10 cents or 20 cents for it. Um, it doesn't have an ISBN number on it. There's no barcode on it or anything like that. It did have a little bit of damage there on the corner. Um, but the reason that I decided to pick this up uh, is because it's from 1927 and it is an original um, the very first print of this book the heart of healing and um, I just took a chance on it and then when I brought it home and looked up the value of it I was shocked so um, this sold for fifty dollars plus shipping but I ended up shipping it uh, to the UK and the person who wanted it asked me if I could do um, 
just regular international shipping instead of the uh, global shipping program. I, I looked it up in the global shipping program and it was coming up uh, almost $50 to ship this book and you can see how thin it is. So it was very, very light, a few ounces. And um, so $50 was just ridiculous. I ended up uh, using Pirate Ship and um, shipped it internationally that way to the UK, and it was under $10 to ship it. So uh, this is another book. I actually found this one at the Salvation Army for $0.10. Cents, and uh, I sold that one for $10 plus shipping. This was a nice sale. Um, I picked this one up at uh, Goodwill, I think, um, but it's brand new. It's a Las Vegas Tumblr, Starbucks. Still had the tags on it. I sold it for $25 plus shipping. Just about anything Starbucks, I'll usually pick it up. Um, Beanie Babies. I had a whole bunch of these and I just lotted them all together. So there was 26 of them. Um, I took a best offer on them for $30 um, and shipped those off. I used a flat rate uh, shipping box to ship them. Cute. Build-A-Bear, you know I love Build-A-Bear. I'm always doing videos on my channel about picking up new Build-A-Bears. I found this little guy at, um, at the bins. So I probably paid, uh, you know, less than a dollar for him. He's super cute, already pre-stuffed, still had the tags on it. Uh, he sold for $16.99 plus shipping. This one wasn't a big sale. I just thought he was adorable, and so I picked him up. Uh, he reminds me of uh, my sister when she was little. She used to collect these troll dolls, and I thought this one was adorable. Um, he sold for $6 plus shipping. This is a Hop Hodge HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. Um, this is something that you can connect to your different gaming consoles like the Xbox or PlayStation and you can record your gameplay right onto your PC. Um, my son wasn't using this thing anymore. He has a PC now, so he does most of all his gaming on directly on his PC. So um, uh, turned around, sold it for eighty dollars plus free shipping. And last but not least is a Willow Tree figurine. Um, I actually picked up two different Willow Tree figurines, uh, ninety-nine cents a piece. Um, this one sold for $17 plus free shipping. Uh, what I didn't know when I got this home was that it's actually missing a piece. Um, there was something that he was holding in his hand. So it is broken, um, but I just noted it here in the listing and I still sold it for $17 with free shipping. So he's pretty light, so it really didn't cost a lot to ship it. And that's it for now. Okay, so that's just a few of my sales over the last um, three or four weeks. Not everything, just a few things. But, um, you know, I've been kind of hit with that uh, summer slowdown. I think it's because I sell mainly clothing. So I've been trying to branch out into um, more home goods and hard goods and, you know, a few electronics as I learn that category. Um, but now with Poshmark, uh, you're able to sell home goods, and there's a whole list of things that you can sell now on Poshmark. Um, so I'm definitely branching out more and learning about a few more of these other categories and just trying to make some extra sales during the summer uh, when people aren't really buying a whole lot of clothing. So definitely, if you are a Poshmark seller or an eBay seller and you sell mainly clothing, try branching out into other categories during the summer when things are slow and uh, really build up your inventory when things are slow and build up your listings when things are slow um, but just keep 
at it, just keep at it, keep adding more listings, keep taking photographs, and eventually things will start to pick up again and you'll notice your sales picking up again. So don't give up and um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to hit each and every one of you. Um, that's about it for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, hit all the little things down below, thumbs up, all that fun jazz. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.